everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. I have to admit, this first video wasn't actually the original plan. The original plan was doing the first of my podcasts, but I have to admit, I have a bit of performance anxiety wondering if people are going to like it, if people are going to agree with me, blah blah blah. And I just decided, you know what, screw it, I'm just gonna try and justify the spending that I've been doing to try and cope with the whole lockdown thing. And I'm gonna do an unboxing. I have got a lot of goodies here and I'm very excited to show you all. Especially this big box here. <laughs> and yeah. I came up with a joke when I when I looked at the pair of scissors that I was, I was going to be using for this. And funnily enough, it kind of fits into the situation in the world right now. It's very stressful, very difficult, but with the power of love, hope and strength, we will get through this. If you understand that musical reference, then you have taste as obscure as mine, and I am very grateful to have found someone who gets it. So, without more ado, here we go. You might be wondering, what on earth could be in such a huge box? You may also be wondering, if you're a manakeet, how come you don't have green hair? To which I would say, you can't just ask a manakeet why they don't have green hair. <laughs> Sorry. I came up with that joke and I felt like I needed to say it, you know, it's just one of those things. Oh, almost dropped it. Do not want to drop this. Because I'm here, I have a very special new friend. I just need to... Oh, oh I need to open it this way. Okay. Ah, and it's right way up as well. <laughs> oh, she's so adorable, isn't she? I have to admit, I saw this like a few weeks ago, and I thought, you know what? I definitely want, I definitely want one of these because it's just, it's Harley Quinn and it's a bunny, so it's adorable. I mean, I I had so many Build a Bear workshop toys growing up, and the clothes even fit my Elmo plush that I had. So yeah, it's. It's kind of a it's kind of a big thing for me, but I can still go and buy stuff like this. I'm kidding. Put her there so we have a little buddy. Might make her like a permanent filming buddy, who knows? <laughs> mm. I think I might do one last thing though. When I was growing up, it was always snipping off the tag that would make it like it feel like the toy had really come alive, you know? Okay, so that's the order details, and yeah, I actually got like a proper birth certificate for her and everything because yeah, I figured it was only right. Also, I was planning on getting something from Loot Crate, but unfortunately I became aware, oh yeah, that sensory crate that they're doing, that's supposed to be like for the benefit of the autistic community, Autism Speaks. Yeah, if you know anything about Autism Speaks from actually autistic people, you'll know why that's an issue. So I figured I'd just go for something that has been a long time staple of my convention visits. <sighs> I had so many plans for this year and unfortunately, just like everybody else, they all went down the toilet. Oh well. At least some of the things are going to be a... Uh, we scheduled. There we go. That side is pretty much done. I think there's at least one t-shirt in here to open this as well. A little... Oh, there's extra sellotape here because of the shipping label. That's why. There we go. ba da da, -da. Okay, now, this is awesome. I already have a Bill and Ted shirt, but see this. This is awesome. Wait, wait. <gasps> oh my god, 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 oh my god. Ah! Kind of daft that I would get so excited over a Monster High pop figure, but here's the thing. When I was a kid, 
I was a different person in more ways than one. And one of the things that I loved as a kid was Monster High. Because it's a doll, but they're all spooky and monster kids. And it was so cool. And that's one of the reasons why I hate the reboot because it's like, oh, do kids see now? And I'm like, really? Let spooky kids be spooky kids. Don't let the parents get involved. Do not let them be sanitized. The whole monster high thing. It was just one of those things that I loved because it felt like it was actually speaking to me, well, particularly, more than Barbie and Bratz. The only reason why I started buying Bratz dolls was because I went shopping with my grandmother one day and I saw, Nana, 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 oh my gosh, look, that Bratz doll has a Spidey t-shirt. And it came with lip gloss as well, in the shape of Spider-Man's face, and I'm just like, yes, I loved it. Also, I'm a sucker for Frozen as well, so yeah. One of my favourite Monster High memories. One of my favourite Monster High memories. I used to actually have a pen, one of those singing pens. Oh, you want me to... Sorry. My beloved camera person is trying their best, like, not to uh, speak because they just, you know... I guess they don't want to risk uh, talking over it too much. Oh, this is cool. I don't really watch Game of Thrones that much, but Arya Stark. That's pretty awesome. It's like, it's very small. So you have to just... Ee! But yeah. And uh, notebook. I, I always need notebooks. I mean, as a... As a um, uh, aspiring author, as well as YouTuber, I always need notebooks. Doesn't matter what for, I will at some point, you know? Got some Halo stuff. That's cool. What? Oh, you want me? Ta da! Yeah. Like I said, about the whole Monster High singing pen thing. I was picked on a lot as a kid. I didn't fit in. And one of my own ways of getting back was this singing pen, if you clicked the button at the top, it would sing. It would sing part of a Monster High theme song, which I loved. So sometimes, just to get back at people to try and embarrass them, I was always the kid who would come prepared to classes. That was one of the reasons why I was picked on, was because I was such a geek, basically. And my classmates, sometimes when we needed pens, I would often be the one to let them borrow them. Even if I hated most of their guts because they didn't seem to like me either. Yeah. I was nice like that, I guess. Too nice, maybe. And the funny thing was that, obviously, they... Oh yeah. Sorry. I'm so distracted I didn't actually finish the, sto finish the story of the whole thing. But yeah. Captain America! Da da da! Team Cap. I know that's several years ago, but yeah, I was always Team Cap. And, um... These kids, when they used the pen, obviously they would instinctively click it. They'd expect it to go click. But really, what you needed to do was twist a bit closer to the nib of the pen. So sometimes I'd be in the middle of class, feeling a bit down, had to let someone borrow a pen, and all of a sudden you'd just hear, Monster, Monster, hi, Monster, hi, and I'm just like... That's what you get! <laughs> it was just my own little prank, I suppose. And yes, also, there's something that I am not personally interested in, or at least not anymore, but my camera person will certainly be delighted by. Very excited there, I can tell, I can see, I can see the face, but you can't. Oh shit, okay, I shall pass. Consider that an early birthday present or something. <laughs> of course, it's not the only one you're gonna get. My camera person, who, by the way, is actually my mum, is a huge fan of Potter and everything. I used to be, but for various reasons, I'm not anymore.
Hey everybody, Mystic from Anakeet here. A little bit of an intermission as the original video was filmed in two parts. So I figured I'd just say, hey, this is what I'm planning on doing with my channel. You probably already heard me mention podcast, and I'm sure you're sat there thinking, what on earth do they mean by podcast if they don't even have anything up yet? Well, here's the answer. Basically, I came up with this idea kind of on a whim of, you know what? There are a lot of albums that are important to me, but I can't really decide which ones I like more of. So I figured, hey, why not take a few different albums and pair them together and then do basically track by track comparisons of each album to decide which one I like more. No, I said which one I like more and not objectively which is better because everybody has their own opinions and I know that some people might disagree with mine. So don't come at me if you don't like what I say because you are entitled to your own opinion as long as that doesn't hurt anybody else. So let me have mine, you know what I mean? Anyway, back to the video! We're back! Okay, so, as you can see, everything has been moved. So everything that I've already opened is this side, and the things that I have yet to open are over here. Now, we've already pre-cracked the uh, packaging on this one, so no, like, snappy cuts of the snips or anything. I can just go... Ooh. And what is in this box that I have just so magnificently flung open? Well, I have ordered from a particular service called Candy Mail, which I was actually made aware of by a friend of mine on Facebook. And what do they send? Well, among other things, Ramone. I love, I love this stuff. It's always a highlight of going to conventions and also to your sushi. God, I miss that place. But, yeah, it's good because I was getting thirsty after all this talking. <laughs> Ooh, cola flavour. Very nice. I don't think I've ever had a cola flavour before. So we have strawberry, we have cola, we have uh, original, I think. I think that's, I think that might be original or bubblegum, for all I know. Oh no, blueberry. Blueberry, I can tell from the little characters on there. Um, oh, there's five of them in here. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Ooh, matcha. Matcha flavour. Don't think I even knew they had this one. So that's nice. And last but not least. Ooh, pineapple. Very nice. So yeah. Those will be very nice to enjoy later. So I can put that there and just oof, push it out of the way. Now, here we get to the part where I need my notes. Because there's also um, two of these people I've actually been um, able to ask if they want to be credited in the video. And two of the people that I have asked, or that I have just ordered from in general, have said yes. So I have a list here of what I bought from who, and yes, it is on Spider-Man notebook paper. Good of you to notice. And, uh, yeah, here we go. I've noticed that I've accidentally ordered way too many of the same character, but I have a friend who customises dolls, so that's useful. Because it means about any spares, I can send it to them. Oh gosh, it's like the bag equivalent of the joke about turning uh, Cusco into a flea. A hamster to a flea. Put that, up, put, 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 put that box in a box, send that put that box into another box, send it to yourself, smash it with a hammer. Except you don't want to do that with these. <laughs> I guess it's all to make sure that nothing got damaged on the way. Aha! Here we are! This is this is another thing that I have always loved as well as Monster High, but not quite as long. I discovered I discovered these ever after high in college of all places. Yeah, I know you're supposed to be growing up and stuff in college, but I decided you know what, screw that. I can do what I want with my life. And what did I do with my life? I decided one weekend it must have been that I was going to binge the entirety of the Netflix show because my friend who also customises the dolls, was into it. So I got curious, I watched it, and I loved it. 
it was way better than I expected. In fact, Little Miss Raymond here is actually one of my favourite characters because her whole plotline of defying what she was told to be and just making her own story, its it was something that spoke to me. And especially in the time of my life that I was at, when I discovered Ever After High, I found it, yeah, I found it comforting to know that I wasn't alone in that feeling, I suppose. And that's the magic of media. <laughs> but yeah, I've got those two dolls here, and I have a bunch of accessories that came with Raven, including headphones. Oh, there's, there's, there's more Stahide brush in here. Huh. How curious. So yeah, I'm gonna put those things over here. We're using the uh, Build-A-Bear box as a rubbish bin because it's, you know, it's big enough for everything. Oh! Accidentally pulled the uh, packaging up there. Oops. Now, any of you any of you who are familiar with Monster High should be able to tell who this is just from looking at the boots. Yes, that is right. It is none other than Abby! I actually have a custom Abby upstairs that again my friend that I've been mentioning who does the customizations actually did for me. I commissioned it because I didn't have a classic Abby, so I figured Hey, why not just get a custom one? But I figured, you know what? Having one of the classic ones wouldn't hurt either. So there she is, in all her splendid glory. Package of accessories here. Got that there. Got the stand, which I shall put her on later. And I've got the diary. I love the diaries because it gives you a sense of their character, their speech patterns and stuff. It's, it's nice. I like it. And this was from my good friend that I actually met through ordering the doll, Isabel. It's kind of funny how just deciding one night, you know what, I need something to cheer me up, I'm gonna buy some dolls can lead you to making a new friend. I like that. Wee. Ta -da. So, thank you very much, Isabel. And this one must be from a nice lady who has been... Oh no! This is one that I didn't actually um, remember I'd ordered. But is splendid nonetheless. Wow, look at her. This is Luna, Luna Matthews. I know puns, that's basically Monster High all over in terms of the names, but this is actually, wow. Sorry, I'm just, I didn't really remember that I'd ordered this one, so splendid. Funny thing, I remember um, a few years ago, I actually went to a convention, as like, you know, as I like to do, and there was actually a mother and daughter pair, and it was really cute because the daughter was dressed as Dracula, and the mother was actually dressed as Luna, and she looked amazing. I mean, seriously, face paint and all, it was great. So, put that there to be cleaned up in a bit. Yeah, these dolls, I don't actually, I didn't actually write down who sent these ones. I feel bad about that. But yeah, here we have Lizzie Hearts, who is another Ever After High classic, and again, gorgeous. There's, there's something familiar about the colour scheme though. So, put her there with her friends. And then, last but not least, we have another Raven Queen, but this time from the, uh, oh, I can't remember the specific name of it, but it's, I think it was the Dragon Games, which is the last season but one where 
I'm not going to do a huge- I'm not going to like spoil the entire plot because it would be amazing if more people actually went and watched Ever After High. It's on Netflix, so that would be awesome if more people could get into that. But it's from the whole thing where they decide that they're going to try and re- um, try and re uh, revive- that was the word I was looking for- try and revive an old sport of the school where um, it's vaguely like Quidditch, I guess, but instead of being on broomsticks, they ride dragons. And something goes wrong relating to one of the parents of the kids at school, and it becomes a resistance story, and I like that. I like that very much. It's very exciting. But yeah, that's all the dolls. I confess, I kind of. It, it's like because I. Um, didn't write down entirely which ones um, came from who. I actually kind of forgotten which dolls I or um, who I ordered the uh, the three that I just opened from. So not entirely sure. But yeah, that's the unboxing. And if I may say so myself, what a haul! I guess you could call this Metal Mannequins Hall. Mm, bye bye.